Good evening, everyone. Uh, I'd like to take a few moments to say a few words about our bride and groom. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Joe Alonji, Ron's best man and longtime good friend. I met Ron in 1995 at Valio, where we were both employed. We both hit it off right away. We both realized we were avid hunters. At least Ron claims he is. <laughs> Ron, when's the last time you shot a deer? A That's what I thought. I'd also like to thank all the guests for being here tonight and being a part of Ron and Jenny's special day. I'd also like to thank the bridesmaids and flower girls for helping make this such a special day for Jen. Alexis, Julie, Tracy, Riley, Mackenzie, you, you girls all look beautiful. And Jenny, you look stunning. Ron and Jenny, you guys put a lot of planning and hard work into this special day. We're all delighted to be here and celebrate this joyous occasion with you guys. One day a couple years back, I was at work and I received a call from this Jenny girl. I was like, Jenny who? She explained that she was dating Ron and she wanted to get him a birthday present because we were leaving on a trip for Spain to go dirt bike riding, and we were going to be gone for two weeks, and it was going to be Ron's birthday. And she wanted to get us a gift so he had something to open on his birthday. I knew right away that she was a special girl. Jenny, speaking of dirt bikes, <laughs> you know Ron really enjoys riding his dirt bike in different parts of the world with his buddies, right? So he's still going to be able to do this after today, right? <laughs> All right. That's good, because I didn't want to change my mind about you. <laughs> Just kidding. I know you're going to let Ron do whatever he wants, whenever he wants after today, right? All right. Well, I know, I know he's found the right girl, and you've definitely found the right guy. In closing, I just want to wish the two of you the best. Remember, there's only one happiness in life, that is to love and be loved. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to propose a toast to Ron and Jenny. May they have years of joy, health, and happiness ahead of them. Salute. I'm Alexis, and I've been friends with Jenny since sixth grade, so around 18 years. When I first met the beautiful five foot nine inch sixth grader, <laughs> I was sure she was far older than me and would never want anything to do with my prepubescent self. I was four foot nine and far from developed. To my surprise, she didn't judge me on my weird little body, and she approached me one day at Skateland. <laughs> I was wearing an oversized Kermit Klein t-shirt, and she, I'm sure, was wearing a pair of bell-bottom jeans, a tucked-in oversized t-shirt, a scrunchie on her wrist, and her famous hairdo of middle school, which is when she separated her bangs and it looked like devil horns. <laughs> Since that day, we've been inseparable. Last day of school, shaving cream parties, drama club, musicals, Parties where I thought I was drunk off of one Mike's Hard Lemonade. Her teaching me how to smoke my first cigarette. And I was always so cool that I never inhaled. <laughs> Making music videos, and we even shared some heartache. So what has kept me around so long? Well, Jenny's very creative and so clever. She's extremely intelligent. She's done research on just about any disease, country, murder case she can ever think of. She's neurotic and full of anxiety, just like me, so we get each other very well. She's beautiful, accepting, and generous. She's extremely sensitive and not afraid to be vulnerable. She's hilarious. You can always count on her clumsiness for a good laugh. And she's gotten some of the weirdest injuries I've ever heard of. A butt concussion. From the great words of Truvy and mine and Jenny's favorite movie, Steel Magnolias, laughter through tears is my favorite emotion, and you, Jen, have always given me that. 
So on to Bug, <laughs> a.k.a. Ron, in case you didn't know, that's the man's actual name. I was around during Jenny's dating period, and I knew something was different when she started dating Ron. As gorgeous and fun and strong-willed and lovely as Jenny is, she hasn't always had the most confidence. But as soon as she started dating this fella, she became so much more comfortable with herself. She didn't need any reassurance because he made her feel all those things we already knew about her. Jenny has a brand new confidence and light about her, and I know that some of that has to be due to his love. Ron is kind and sweet and generous and patient. He's understanding and accepting. He's affectionate and active. He can keep up with Jenny, which is not an easy job. I don't think since they've started dating, they spent one night at home. They are always out dancing, vacationing, going to festivals. And this man has spent countless craft store adventures with, for the wedding with Jenny and even made some of the decorations here. Most men wouldn't do that. I have absolutely no concern that Jenny won't be cared for the way she needs and deserves. Thank you for being such an amazing partner to my friend. And on to the toast. Please raise your glasses. As I wish you both a lifetime full of happiness, experiences, growth, love, and a journey that's worth writing about. I love you both more than my luggage. Cheers. I'm Julie, <laughs> Jenny's maid of honor, and for those of you that do know me, you're welcome. <laughs> so Jenny and I have known each other since the sixth grade, and the reason I use the word known is because it was not friend at first sight. You see, back in the sixth grade, Jenny was having a few girls over for a sleepover, and I thought to myself, sounds like a great time to me. <laughs> so. I showed up, uninvited, to Jenny's house, bag in one hand, my pillow in the other, and I attended her gathering of a few selected girls, myself not included, in what turned out to be one of the best slumber parties ever. From truth or dare, to prank calls, talking about boys and our crushes, staying up all hours of the night, she and I decided somehow, secretly, in a pack together, that we were going to be best friends. And with no effort at all, we remained this way ever since. Which brings me to Ron. <laughs> the first time I met Ron was actually their first, really second date, but their first date. The first date that, the first date that didn't intend the ambulance. Yeah. <laughs> so instead of being the typical date of having dinner and a few drinks, Jenny decides to drag him downtown for my birthday celebration where he would then be swarmed by six more girls asking him uncomfortable questions, taking shot after shot, and dancing the entire night. Now, my mom always said, never marry a guy who does not dance. And for the, those of you that do not know Ron, he is a dancing machine. <laughs> so, by the end of the night, I remember thinking how brave, easygoing, and fun and how he just fit in our crew like we've known him for years. And that's when I realized that he was not just going to be a first date, but a friend for life. So, here's my question to my friend, Shen. Did John Hughes really direct your life? Is it like an 80s movie? I mean, seriously, she has her John Cusack that holds her boombox outside the window. She gets to ride off on a lawnmower with her Patrick Dempsey. She has her Jake from 16 Candles waiting for her outside the church, and it's Ron Butler thrusting his fist in the air because he knows he got her. <laughs> but seriously, if you look around this room, you would know that I'm not the only one that has the best friend title. There are so many people here who are Jenny's best friend, and that's because she surrounds herself with the very best of people. So I know that Ron, if she is marrying you, you are definitely best friend material. So, from her old best friend to her very new best friend, may you 
laugh with your whole body, love with your whole heart, and live the most extraordinary life together as Mr. and Mrs. Ron Butler. <laughs>